hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can implement facebook login in our react native app with firebase in my previous tutorials i have already shown you how we can implement email based authentication using firebase in our react native app and also i have shown you how we can implement google login in our app and in this tutorial i will show you how we can make this sign in with facebook button functional so if you haven't checked my previous tutorials i would highly recommend you to check those tutorials because i am continuing this tutorial with those settings and without the firebase configuration this tutorial will not work for you and in this tutorial series we are creating a social app by using firebase so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial So now we need to go to the react native firebase documentation and here within this social authentication menu we have this facebook section right and here we can see that we need to install this package first so we need to install this react native facebook sdk to our project and to install it we will use this command as i am using npm so paste it here so it has been installed now let's see what we need to do for latest react native we have this auto linking feature and we are not doing it for ios so we don't need to do these things and if you don't know why we are not using ios then you can check my previous tutorial where i have implemented the google login so now we will follow the guide from react native firebase documentation here it is showing that before getting started ensure you have installed the library which we have done and we need to configure the android and ios application in our facebook developer account so open it so this is the getting started guide now click for the android now here we need to create the app for the android in the facebook developer console so provide the name for the app and then click on this create new facebook app id and click on this create app id button so here our app is created now we need to configure these things now we need to go to this build.gradle file and for the repositories we need to check for this maven central so it's not added over here let's copy this and add it here and then we can see that we need to add this code to our build.gradle dependencies and that would be our build.gradle within this app directory and here we need to add it and here it will be implementation rather than the compile now save it now we need to add this line this facebook app id to our strings.xml file and that is located within this app src main trace values so let's go to this app src main raise then values then we have this strings.xml here i will add that then within this android manifest xml file we need to add this internet permission which is already added over here so we don't need to add that now we need to add this metadata for our application so here is the application now after this we will add this metadata now save it here we need to provide some information about our project so here we need to add the package name and this package name is this one so copy this one and paste it here and here we need to add the activity class and it would be similar to this name then dot main activity now click on next so we have this pop-up so there is a problem verifying this package here it is the message if your app is not listed publicly then you can ignore this message so we will ignore this and use this package name now we need to add the development and release key hash so we need to click on this show how to generate key hash and over here we have this code now copy this one and paste it here 
and enter key store password so i'm providing the password for the password now the code has been generated so i can copy it and paste it here so i have added it now click on next now in the next step we will use this login so click on it so now we are completed with this setup now we can go to here now we need to ensure that facebook sign in provider is enabled for our project in this firebase console so here within this sign in method we need to enable this facebook so here we need to provide the app id and the secret and to provide this we need to go to the settings of our app in the facebook developer console and here we can see the app id so i have copied it and pasted here and i will add the app secret which is this i need to click on show and i will add it over here you need to provide your app credentials over here so i have added it so the facebook provider is enabled now we can start implementing the functionality for it so here we can see one setup we can trigger the login flow with facebook by calling this login with permission method on login manager class and that is we are using here this is the button function and that function is called from this button so this is the asynchronous function we will implement it in our auth provider so here within this auth provider.js after this google login i will create another function called fb login and this is the asynchronous function and here i will add this try catch block and within this try block i will add this code and i will await for the result and here for the errors i will catch it and output it in the console and to use this we need to import this login manager and access token from react native facebook sdk so i have saved it now we need to call this button in our login screen.js file and here it will be fp login and we can call it in this button so save it now close this metro bundler ui process and rebuild our project okay we have an error this is the multi dex error and to get rid of this error we need to add this line in our build.gradle file which is located into this android app directory and after adding this we need to add within this default config this command this multi dex enabled true now rebuild our project so now our app has been built successfully so while implementing this facebook login this multi dex error is quite common so you need to make sure you add this line to default config and then this line and you can find these lines in this link i will provide this link in the description below and also i will create an article of it and over there i will list all the debugging process and i will provide that link as well so you can check that out also now let's see if this button is working or not click on it now we are presented with this login with facebook and here we can see our app name is present and we can give the permission over here by clicking on this button so after clicking on it we can see that we are logged in successfully to our app and then we can log out of it and again if we want we can log in to our app by clicking on this continue so this is how we have implemented login with facebook functionality in our app and previously we have implemented this sign in with google but one important thing is missing in our project which is this we are implementing this social authentication for android only for ios we are not implementing it but in our project we have added this facebook package and the google sign in package to provide the login but these packages don't have any function for ios iOS. so now if we build the project for ios that time we will have some error 
to prevent that we need to tell our project these packages are only meant for the android not for the ios to do that we need to go to this react native config.js file if you don't have this then create a file called react native.config.js file in your root directory and then add these commands so here we have added the package names and these package names can be found from our package.json so here we have the react native facebook sdk which we have installed in this tutorial and previously we have installed this google sign in so both of these packages names are mentioned over here and this will not work for ios so that's why we have provided this ios none if you have any kind of package which you don't want to use for android but for the ios then that time for android it will be null if you don't want to use that package for android right i think you got the idea so it will work for the packages now we have another thing we have this auth stack js and auth provider js over here we are providing these functions and we are importing it right so we are using these two imports but we cannot use these platform voice checking in imports so for that we need to create two versions of these files one for the ios and another one for the android so this one is for the android definitely right so we need to rename it as the file name dot the platform name dot js file okay and we will not update the imports now copy this one and create another file for ios so it would be auth provider dot ios dot js file and here we don't need this fb login and google login delete it and delete these imports as well now save it so we have created auth provider.js file for both the platform now similarly we need to do this for auth stack as well in auth stack js in previous tutorial we have added some configuration for google sign in and that code will not be present for ios so it will be android and i have created another one for ios and here we don't need the configuration and we don't need this import so saved it now let's check sign in with facebook it's working fine for our project sign in with google it's also working fine for android now let's check this for ios so here we can see that ios app has been built successfully and if we log in here with the credentials then we are successfully log in to our app right so our all the authentications are working for both the platform right so i have completed with the firebase authentication for our project in the next tutorial i will create ui for our social app so stay tuned for that and i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button let me know by commenting down below and share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye